Hello, my name is uh, Ben Francis and I'm head of 3D Design here at Godman College. I'm just going to take you on a little tour of the department and just talk to you about our resources and uh, the things that we do here in uh, Godman and Design. So these are the Goodridge 900. So if you see this is where graphics is on the left hand side over here and then uh, 3D Design or Product Design as it uh, used to be called is over here so if you walk through you'll come to this uh down here and then here we are so this is uh freely design okay so when you walk directly into the classroom you'll see we've got a, a design i would call this the, the design studio and in a design studio obviously we've got a suite of computers and there's enough computers for everybody in the class okay so we do some computer stuff uh mainly for obviously uh, printing out photographs uh, using CAD, so 3D design, um, also uh, preparing work and also uh, using it to sort of maybe type out annotation for our design ideas. But this is where most of the teaching takes place. Um, and this is where all of the sort of the designing takes place on these tables here. And then obviously we've got a projector and a screen, okay. So over here is the notice board, and you'll see that over here, this is where homework's set. So these are the groups, and then this is when it's set and it's due. And then any other important notices you will find on here as well, okay? So this is the sort of notice page. So it's quite a big room. So this is one of the rooms that we've got. So if we come over here, just give you a little tour of some of the uh, work on display, some architecture um, and, and some furniture and stuff. So Predominantly, this is a design-related course, okay? So when we talk about the, the course, we are talking about ability to develop ideas, okay? Developing ideas are really, really important. The more ideas that you can develop, the more marks you will get, okay? So you need to be really good at coming up with ideas. You need to be really good at uh, creating ideas. You just need to be a creative, experimental person, okay? So we've got developing ideas. That's what all this subject is about. It's also about exploring materials, techniques, and processes, okay? So the more materials you can use, the more techniques and processes you can use to communicate your ideas, the more marks you will get. And that is really, really important, okay? Then we've got recording ideas, is how you record those ideas. So how good are you at sketching? How good are you at modeling? How good are you at using CAD? So this is about the, how good you are at designing. And then finally, we've got present, which is about presenting a final response. So that would be the final model, final piece of architecture, final bit of furniture, final piece of lighting, etc. Okay, so this is the classroom, you'll see books at the front, uh, books over there. This is up where most people put some of their work, uh, where they're just carrying on with stuff. So if you need to just leave some work there, you can. Um, and then let's go into this area. So this area is more importantly, the store area um, and can be considered to be uh, the CAD area as well. Okay, so in here, there are lots and lots of boxes. So let's put the lights on for you. So everyone's got a lovely box, so this is all lower six. So in lower six, wherever you do any practical, this is where you will have to uh, find your, your work, and this is where all of your practical will go in terms of uh, the first year, okay? So you'll all get one of those. Make sure things are kept tidy. And then this is the second year over here, which comes a bit more uh, advanced, etc. okay? This area needs to be kept tidy. Um, it's a big area. And again, this is where your, your books will be kept. Obviously, most of the books have been taken home to do work. And then this is also where the laser cutter uh, and the laser cutter happens. So this is our laser cutter. Um, this is a universal. I like to call it, uh, I would call it an old Ferrari, okay? Because it's a very, very good laser cutter. So this is the laser cutter room. And you need to keep this area nice and tidy as well, okay? So... Uh, let's come back into the classroom and then we're going to be coming over here. So we're going to be going into the workshop. Okay, so this is the workshop over here. Um, as you see, it's a very, very big, big space. Okay, um, 
So let's just go in. So workshop wise, we've got a variety of stuff. We've got a variety of wood, we've got a variety of metal, we've got a variety of plastic processing. Okay, so we've got a few saws, uh, mortiser, uh, obviously bandsaw over here. What you can't see over here, we've got a wood turning machine as well. Uh, so that's over here, this is just some of the stock left over from the exam that needs to be pot away. Um, uh, and then you've got some uh, polishers as well, very, very useful. Uh, band facer, uh, bobbin, bobbin facer or bobbin sander, obviously so you can sand, etc. Uh, milling machine as well. Uh, we've also got center lathes over here. And then up here we've got a uh, pillar drill. Uh, We've also got another centre lathe over here, slightly newer model, and then we've got another pillar drill. Okay, so we've got quite a lot of metal working stuff. Okay, so that's all on this side. Uh, and then if we carry it around over to here, uh, we've got our uh, CNC machine, which is really, really important. This is what we predominantly use for uh, making big bits of furniture. It's one of the biggest CNC machines I've used, and as you can see, it's a whopper. Uh, so that's great. We're also updating that this year. We've got updating the software for that. So that should, uh, should be running even better um, by, by this year. A uh, bit more sort of metal working processes. And then on this side, uh, we've got, this is where most people take their, their photos of their models. We've got a couple of 3D printers over here as well. So 3D printers are really important. Uh, uh, we've got a vacuum former. We've got a plastics oven as well and another vacuum former. So we've got a lot of stuff, okay? Predominantly, this is where most of your practical will happen, if not all of it. And this is probably where I would say two thirds of your lessons will take place, okay? So you'll probably spend two, two lessons maximum doing practical, uh, one lesson designing. You might maybe do one and a half practical, one designing, and then maybe uh, one on CAD. Obviously hand tools here as well, okay? Um, and then this is a sort of uh, exit over here. This is sort of storage. Again, uh, more uh, aprons and stuff. So obviously you can wear an apron when you come in. And this goes out to uh, graphics on the left-hand side. And then another classroom sometimes uses an overflow. Okay, but predominantly this is the main department. Over here we've got metal working processes. Okay, so this is really important. So this is where brazing takes place. Um, this is also... Uh, where we do a bit of casting if you need to, any jewellery making. We've also got arc welding as well, okay? So we can do predominantly a wide variety of, of processes, yeah? So if you're into metal, if you're into wood, if you're into plastics, then this is where you want to be coming. This is predominantly a design and manufacturing subject. It's about designing, experimenting through woods, metals, plastics, processes, prototyping, coming up with three-dimensional shapes, whether that's models, whether that's full-size furniture, whether that's bits of lighting, etc. Okay, and I'll go a bit about, I'll go into the sort of architectural side of things later on, but we do a big architectural project, and these are some outcomes that were uh, made last year. So this is a lovely example of an architectural bridge that was made. So it's not just about maybe what you might have done in resistant materials, it's a bit, you know, it's a bit more, you know, it's, a, it's an understanding design. You know, how good are you at, desi at design? How, can, you, can you prepare ideas? Can you communicate those ideas? Can you uh, develop those ideas? And can you manufacture those ideas? So one of the last places, again, is in here. So this is really stuff only, but you can have a little look in here. So this is uh, more about the storeroom. So this is the area where we keep all the woods metals and plastics and this is where we cut some of the large uh, large materials for you but this is predominantly staff only okay and then this is um, will be locked and then if you come through here uh, again this is a bit more of another storage area some of the models from last year paper uh, some teaching resources that I use and if you follow this round um, this will basically take you back into the the store area as you can see here uh, and then if you come through here this will take you into the classroom and then the last thing to talk to you about is, is obviously just uh, this is the design office uh, you have a little look in there this is sort of where the office and the department sit uh, but if you've got any questions this is where most people will be
but predominantly this is uh, 3D designed. I like to just call it design now, yeah? And this is where uh, most of the interesting, creative uh, minds come to come up with ideas. Um, and then, yeah, we finished the tour by pretending to go outside and then back out here and you're right back onto the main strip.